vlog. Hello. <laughs> we are here at Legoland. Legoland Winter Resort this afternoon. We have just come down from Manchester. It took us about three hour travel, so not too bad. And we are making the most of the last of our annual passes because we are not renewing them this year. Um, don't tut at me and get... Yeah, so we're <laughs> making the most of our annual passes this year and getting a few last trips in down here. Legoland is first on our list. So it, we're here at about 12, it shuts at 5. Let's see what we can get done. Why use stairs when you can use a slide? <laughs> yeah. So much better, isn't it? And so much quicker. Yeah. Definitely. Well, most of all, it's yeah. more fun. Yes. So we've got crazy granddad with us, we've got daddy, we've got Harry and Emily as well. So we are heading on to Haunted House Monster Party because we have never done this one before and if it's our last trip to Legoland we want to do it don't we? Yeah. So this is where we're heading right now. It says queue time five minutes. I have no idea what to expect. I think the queue's going to be a little bit bigger than five minutes now. So we just got off Monster House Party, did you like that? Yeah. I'm a bit dizzy now though, so if yeah. any of you have been to Horton Towers, it's like Hex, it's a sort of an optical illusion, mini pirate ship, I'm just really, really dizzy now. Yeah. I think we're going to have lunch already. We've only been here and done one ride and it stopped, up, stopped for lunch. Let's see what else we can get on. Well, so we have just had lunch, we brought some picnic food with us, but we also went to the Hungry Troll and got some chips. Not too bad prices, um, and then Alan got a fish, we used our annual pass discount. It was actually made it quite tasty, so we would definitely recommend it. So it's actually theme park prices, but it's not too bad, that's what you expect. But the food was good, so if you're paying for good food, it doesn't really matter. So the queue time is showed up as 10 minutes for Flight the Sky Lion, so we're going to give it a go and see if it's actually real. So it's advertised as a 10 minute wait, we'll soon find out. I want bits and bobs. <laughs> So we have just got off Flight of the Sky Lion and it was about a 10 15 minute wait for us behind us. They must have all seen it on the app and searched forward. So after us, it was about a 45 minute wait. A brilliant, brilliant ride though. Really, really fantastic. If you've never experienced anything like that before, like simulator style rides, you really, really must go on it. So that was a bit of a flop, wasn't it, Harry? Mm -hmm. We have just waited over 30 minutes in Mia's riding school. It said it was a five minute wait. It wasn't. And then after 15, 20 minutes of the ride not moving, they then said it was broken. So we've all had to get out of the queue, despite waiting over 30 minutes. Obviously, no real apology or sort of like, here's a fast pass for next, shortly or anything like that. Which is a bit disappointing, Merlin, I'm sorry. Um, park is really busy today. The queue times are quite high now. So I think we're going to go and try and maybe get the pirate ship. It's showing a 15 minute wait, but I'm not really trusting the app today, so we'll see what it's like. Yeah. Heading into Knight's Kingdom, going on the Dragon Coast. It's going to be a 50 minute wait, so we shall see. We're totally off. Yeah, I think so. So we got on Dragon, it was literally a 20 minute wait, not the advertised 50 minutes. I don't think the ride um, 
sometimes are very accurate today. I think some are very underestimated and some are like, overestimated, like, like me as riding school. David actually corrected me after I did that little complain and moan that we were actually stood in the queue for me as riding school for 50 minutes, what? not five like it was advertised. But again, it did break down as well. So Dragon was cool. Yeah. Quite a cute coaster that for, for a very first coaster to go on. Getting out of puff now though, because we're heading back up the hill. Yep. Going to the shop. Uh -huh. Of course we have to go to the shop and then we're probably heading out of Legoland. Where's this park up? is getting a little bit small for my two now. This kid here loves coasters, Smiler, Nemesis. So um Legoland's a little bit too young for these two now. I think this will probably be our very, very last ever trip here because the annual pass has run out and I can't imagine us paying ever to get back in here again, which is kind of sad. Maybe in my next trip here will be many years time with my grandchildren. That's a scary thought. So yeah, I do love this park. Leaving's fab. It needs a few tweaks. It needs somebody with proper theme park sense to run them a bit better. But it's a great park, great theming, and fabulous rides for the kids. We do love it here, don't we? Yeah. I'm going to switch you off while I walk up to the top of the hill. just heading into dinner so we're heading into Smith and Western um, it's one near our hotel um, not sure what it's like mixed reviews on TripAdvisor but a family friend has said it's been okay so we'll give it a try very very disjointed vlog didn't film a great deal around Legoland just wasn't feeling it um, we have checked into the Premier Inn in Adelston which um, is a really nice Premier Inn it's really new modern um, yeah it's, it's a lovely Premier Inn a um, bit of a strange setup with the car park but there is a free multi-story a couple of minutes walk away which you can get a ticket for we've had dinner this evening at the Smith and Western restaurant um, and you'll either have seen that before this or maybe after this not sure how we're doing it yet like I said it's a very disjointed vlog the meal was really really lovely the restaurant was a really cute restaurant um, I'd definitely recommend it if you're in the area and this seems like a pretty reasonable hotel to be situated in for all the three theme parks down here so if you were to come so far it has been great for us it's probably about 25 minute drive away from legoland so not too bad um tomorrow we're heading off to thorpe park for the day so that's probably going to be on a separate vlog so go and check that out um next week so that's going to be it for today's vlog don't forget to give us a big thumbs up leave any comments down below what are your thoughts about legoland um where do you stay when you come down here if you come at all um, and I will see you again in the next one. Bye!